Hello everyone, here's another video from Watercolor John. Um, today, as promised, we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we did a nice little uh, landscape last time. This time we're going to do a, an abstract painting. And I have no idea what I'm going to do other than I know I want to use a lot of blues and purples and turquoise and things like that. Um, it's July 1st today, it's summer, and I just like the summer colors, especially the colors of you know the water, ocean, lakes, that type of thing. So what we're going to do, and just remember when abstract, you are going to let the water and the paint do a lot of the work. So we're going to wet this whole 5x7 piece of paper. And we're going to get it pretty good. This is again 140 pound paper. This is the Blick um, Cold Pressed 140 pound Premier. So it's a very good watercolor paper. And what I'm doing is I'm getting a nice even coat of water over everything. I want it very wet, but I don't want it to where it's too wet. Okay, I know that sounds like I'm contradicting myself. Basically, I don't know if you can see it, but I want it wet enough where I have a sheen, but I don't want puddles. So I don't know if that helps you or not. If you have puddles and it's too much, you dry your brush off a little bit and you get rid of the puddles. Um, but you want a sheen so everything is completely wet and the water starts to soak in. Okay, so as promised, we are going to do a summer water type of painting in an abstract format. And believe me, if you would have told me a year ago I would have been doing abstract, I would have thought you were crazy. But um, I've learned to not only really like them, but enjoy doing them. And here we go. I'm going to start off with a little of my Mayan dark blue. It's a very, very dark blue. Almost looks like Payne's gray. But I want to start getting just a couple of nice little darks in here. Okay? Now, I have no rhyme or reason what I'm doing. Okay? Um, and I know that's contrary to what a lot of artists say. Uh, I'm not a like a lot of artists. I like to just feel. I had a great weekend. This is a Sunday evening. My wife and I had a wonderful um, weekend. We visited my folks, had a nice dinner. I'm in a great mood. So I'm just going to express myself by having a lot of fun with a lot of different blues, maybe even a little green in there. Maybe even a little green, you never know. There's green in water. Now I got my phthalo blue. Now, one of the things that I love about wet and wet when I'm doing abstract, you can see here. Look at the way it beads out. Okay, this is like a balloon. And by the way, that uh, bird you hear in the background, I'm not outside, that's my parrot, uh, Raphael. And yes, I named him after Raphael Sanzio, my favorite artist. He's a beautiful green bird, maybe we can get a picture of him one of these days. But he does not like to be ignored, that's why you hear him. So, we got those little blooms. Now we're going to go a little bit of turquoise. And we're going to kind of fit that in here a little bit. See how that goes? And I want real thick color. More color on my brush than water. I want them to really bleed and blend out. Okay. Now, one of the things I like, and I told you we were going to be doing a lot of the blues and stuff, but we're going to use yellow a little bit here. It's like a lemon yellow. It's a Hansa yellow, actually. I'm sorry. Hansa yellow, let me see what it can... Hansa yellow light. It's a Daniel Smith color. It's a really pretty yellow. And we're going to kind of dab it in to make some greens that are going to bleed and show up really nice. I'll show you how we're going to do that. Look at that. Just kind of skimming it here and there. Now, you don't necessarily want to get all of the white taken care of. You don't want to have to cover it. Okay? If you look... And this is actually coming out really nice. You've got all kinds of nice, beautiful shapes. You've got all these soft edges. Look at all these soft edges. There's not a hard edge to be found anywhere. you got a little bit of yellow here. you got the green forming. you got the turquoise that's real deep. You've got some real nice shapes going on. Everything is nice and soft. Now I'm going to hit a little of one of my favorite colors. And I guess all of them are my favorite to a degree. And that is going to be my dioxazine purple. It's a really good color. It's a deep color. It's a rich color. And we're just going to sparingly put that in here and there. Nice and juicy. 
get some more on my brush. A little bit into the turquoise here and there. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to rinse out our brush really good. You can probably hear it swishing around. Okay. Now that that's done, now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my water bottle. I have a little spritzer bottle right here. And I'm going to do a couple little spritzes. Not a lot. You can see, i got to wash my hand here. i got a little bit of purple on my hand. Okay, you can see over here, we got a couple of puddles. Okay, those are going to be absorbed into the paper and dry, so we're not going to worry about that. But what I want to do is use the spritzer bottle to diffuse a couple of areas. Like right here that dried a little quickly, maybe here, and possibly right in through here. And they're going to be just light, quick taps with the spritzer. Nothing, there we go. There we go. Okay, now that we got that, we've got some decent water. Now we're going to start using the beauty of watercolor. And we're going to be, I'm basically, the board that I have the paper taped to, as you can see, I'm tilting it. It's making its own shapes, it's making its own journey, let's say. Yes, I'm big into journey. The music group too, actually. You can tell I'm a child of the 80s. I graduated high school in 84, and Journey was very popular. Okay. Now that we got this set up like this, we just let it dry, and you're ready for the unveiling. And I'm going to unveil it before I dry. I'll be real careful so I don't um, get anything messed up, and I'll take off the tape. And we'll get a real nice hard edge here like a frame almost and then when we mat this that's what's going to be matted when it dries completely we can sign it take it up nice and slow Hold here there we go and now we have our painting all nice and complete um, abstracts are a little bit quicker as you can see than um, regular landscape paintings but they're a lot of fun they're very if you like to paint in a spontaneous way they're perfect they're absolutely perfect for that so basically enjoy yourself let the brush and the water do the work you just add the color and a little bit of insight here and there and one of the things that you don't do in the beginning but you do during it is kind of plan things and what i mean by that is in the beginning, I knew I wanted to be blue dominant. Okay, that was all I knew. As I put color on, you start to see shapes. You start to see blooms and bleeds and things like that. So as the painting progresses, then you kind of alter your plan. So I kept the blues. I added a little bit of yellow to get just a little hint of green because green's a great spring and summer color. And then I let the painting kind of evolve on its own. So if you just can relax, let the painting evolve, and don't try to be too technical and get too tight on the painting, you'll have a lot of fun and you'll create some beautiful artwork. So until next time, this is Watercolor John saying, have a good night. Bye.